Okay, I'm done messing around. Non-stop 10 pieces incoming. There's a two, three for you. I, I, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. I think in heuristics, okay? You know what? I'll be a half failure. I, that's why I say things like always take the ox when the ox, you know, when it was getting two attack uh, per kill or, or per death in front of it in the previous uh, patch. That's why I say things like always take turtle. That's why I say things like never take horse. The correct answer for stuff like this is always somewhere in the middle. I can't believe I'm doing this, but sure. Um, you know, there's some situations where a horse would be applicable. There's some situations where a turtle is applicable. But in reality, um, for me, an adherence to the strategy is the most important thing. So throw out the 10% of edge cases where there's like, well, in this situation, it could work. And just rock the heuristic. And the heuristic for us is that an, I, I can't believe I spent four minutes on making this point, but I don't take iguana anymore. Not, not in this weekly, at least. Just doesn't do what I needed to do, okay? But I do take an early dog. I do take two early rats and, and become a scumbag, a pure scumbag. And sure, I mean, no, that doesn't make any sense. You should be back here. This team has stats. For round three, these are good stats. And they're good rats. Would you, would you agree or disagree? I would agree. So this is like your perfect line right now. You're on two wins, three rounds. Haven't lost any HP, though. I think you got to go in order to... I want, I want to keep two rats active right now, quite frankly. There's something very interesting happening here. On cell, swap the stats of two adjacent friends. Holy cow. Okay, work with me for a second here. Let's get this puppy kicking off. Get that puppy up to a 4-6 already. And then a 1-1 one, one rat has no reason to live. Which means we should have taken a shrimp scampi. By me. Freeze. Just stay here. Now this is a team. <laughs> a proper team. The puppy and the dog have competing instincts. You know, we need to spend a lot of money to make the dog work. We need to save some money to make the puppy work. However, having both a dog and a puppy, does this make me the alpha scumbag? I think it does. And you know what? If not me, then who? I'm, I'm happy to debase myself down to this level. If we were winning nonstop and then we start to, you know, oh, I can't afford to not get 10 wins this time. Let's be a scumbag. That's a different story. I've been getting blown the frick out, man. I'm happy to... I'll take what I can get. I don't even know why I'm buying you. I think just because you were part of the squad earlier, I'm like, let's not... Let's not forget how we got into this position in the first place. I might even take a swan. Can I tell you? This is crazy, man. I'm taking a, a, a dang swan. And then freeze a swan. And then freeze a... Just think, is he got an 8, 12, and a 9, 7 on turn 5? This is looking pretty good. We wouldn't mind some turtles being part of the team. That's a given. On top of these turtles, what else would we love to see? That worked out very well. Um, I mean, it's a good question. I don't have a great answer for you right now. More, more dogs and more puppies is definitely an answer. I'll level with you. You're gone. But I'll also level with you. I think the scampi's gone, too. I think I'd rather just have two swans. And then, I mean, we know that this is coming. We know that this is coming. Might as well leave you out there for now. That's pretty good. This is a good thing we got here. We got a 12-7 and an 11-16. We're going to have a level 2 dog. It's very rare to have two good units at this stage of the game. Holy cow, you're going to be... I, I got nothing but respect for my team of ungulate presidents. Isn't that with it, a donkey? Is a donkey an ungulate? Hold on one moment, please. You got to check on this. Is a donkey an ungulate? No, I'm a fool. They're from the family Equidae, of course. Ungulates are like deers. How could I be so stupid? Okay, how about one of these? Now, I know we're going to love some garlic. We could always take one more thing. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. 
Maybe we, I think the order should be from left to right. Swan, swan, puppy, dog, turtle. That seems more sensible to me. We, this should be the kind of team that for most of our opponents makes them uninstall the game. And I'm happy to, I'm happy to be that guy right now. With, with what I've been through. You know what, how about a super swan? Puppy's getting there anyway. We might as well put the investment in the... Right? That makes sense. I'm glad I, did, I didn't buy it, honestly. I'm glad I didn't buy it. We want our team to make our opponents cry. I would be crying. I would, you've seen it happen. I would be crying right now. But I've got to be honest with you, it feels amazing. I don't even know if we're going to get to 10. It, it is looking great. I'm just saying... There's always the chance it doesn't happen, but it's looking amazing right now. I would just love to purchase some food. I know you just got garlic, but you know what? The game moves fast when you're, when you're traveling this fast, so go ahead and take some lemons as well. The beauty of this, if things... Look at this, double puppy! You think you're better than me, double puppy? You know you're better than me? Double, see, I told you I'd cry. Are we on lethal? No, 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 no. No tears, no tears yet. Okay, 13 gold. We should buy foods. Let's do this. Let's, let's make some space. This definitely seems pretty good. We're not doing well with our, uh, with our dog right now. That's a given. Let's get this snake leveled up. Soon it'll be leveled up, I should say. Like The, the dog is stalling because we're buying foods instead. It might be a good time to pivot off of that inane strategy that we've been uh, operating upon. And instead, you know, maybe sell the Falcon and use that space to build more dog stats. Even though the, the Falcon snipe is nice, you know, we, we got bigger fish to fry, maybe. I just love that. Okay, you know, at, at some point you do have to make the decision. I mean, the dog needs our support. It still needs our support. We could have a level 3 snake on this team. I can't believe we're only two off lethal, though. Like, I... I the ones we lost on this one, it's... I mean, it, those are gonna haunt me till my dying day. I think we can't beat this team. This team is going... We're, if, if we don't get 10 on this, I gotta retire. So this is... They're putting a lot of pressure on me right now. I do have to say, the Super Auto Pets community, like, I love you, but you really stepped up your game. There is a part of me that I, I kind of missed when the game, and, and this is wistful and not fair, so don't take it as too serious. I missed when people were worse, and I was the king of the dung heap, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> when... People were stunned that, like, a melon would overwrite a garlic. I miss those days when I was like, actually, a melon can overwrite a garlic, just so you know. People were like, what? You're so smart. Now people are like, they're running, like, the most insane builds you've ever seen in your life. The day the game comes out. I, dude, it's really tough to not just take a 13-13 buff. But I also like you shooting twice is pretty sick. So you know what? As much as I love the Stegosaurus, I'm, I'm st dancing with the one that brought me here in some way. Oh my god, we're killing you? That's insanely lucky. What are we on, nine? This team can do it, man. It's such a basic team. I feel so bad even suggesting that it's up in the air. Look at the econ, though. It's out of control. Forget that. Cucumber? I don't really want to buy that, but okay, I, I would like to keep the tiger alive if possible. A, a single hawk could bring down our whole strategy here. Please. I need this. I think we win, personally. Holy cow. That's a lot of damage. Let's go! Maybe it took the biggest scumbag team of all time, but hey, it was fun nonetheless. The canine build. All right, now we can have some fun. Now that we got the monkey off our back. What is this team? This is not good. I'd love to be a hot bagel, dude. Although I gotta tell you, bagels, 
were one of the foods that I was eating when I concocted food poisoning. I could not in good conscience accuse any food in particular because I have been known to consume a lot of it. Um, I hate to do this, but let's try. Um, I, I, the, the number one question after I told people I have food poisoning is what gave it to you? And I, I don't feel scientifically I can give you a valid answer. You know, it would be based purely on conjecture. But I was eating a lot of bagels that week. Could be bagels. So, I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to eat bagels. I'm just saying my body is like, when I see a bagel now, my body is like, ooh, maybe ooh, back it up a little bit, you know? So we have a weird, uh, we have a weird thing going on with this team right now. What's super weird is how it has no uh, good units and also no good stats. You would think that one of the two should kind of like fall into place, but that is not the case. Didn't lose by too much, but also very non-bullish on our future right now. We could create a super duck. That doesn't seem too relevant to me. I do think the fish level up makes a lot of sense. With all due respect, you'd have to be an idiot to, to sell... The, any of these units, especially the turtle, though. I think you've got to sell the marmoset, even though it is our second, tied for our strongest unit, I guess. And the, the whole game plan here, as crazy as it seems, is we're going to, like, try a back-to-build, I guess. But we really would love to see that level 2 dromedary come out as soon as possible. Yeah, we're going to lose this one, too. We just accept, like, losses are going to be coming fast and furious for a bit here. We got to pull out of, the, out of the tailspin as soon as possible. So a puppy is already leveling nicely. Or already, like, statted nicely. It's almost like we got it on turn four. Is that good enough? What's funny to me is that if we just leave him in here, we can spend to the cap and still level him at the same rate anyway. And the cost, now it's even better for us. The cost just becomes one frozen uh, shop unit instead, which almost makes me think we got like, we got a puppy in reserve. Now, is this strategy likely to work for us? I would say you probably already know the answer to that question, especially as we, I believe, approach lethal already. But even just to do it for one round, it, it gives us a potential edge and one that we're desperately searching for okay so we have to honestly like i think we have to sell the duck to get the puppy out here now it's a 610 that's encouraging also an aardvark at 67 i don't really feel like it fits the plan but at least it's you know <laughs> at least it's a 67 that that's pretty good compared to what the rest of the squad is pulling out here what is this? This is the first team that's made me think we got a genuine chance, man. Holy cow. We got to win. Okay. I don't think we're buying fish at this stage of our life. Nothing's level three. You think we could start talking about a scaled hippo? I don't want to overwrite this. Oh, man. It's a bummer, but... Okay, we can buy a unit at... Six. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if this is any good at all, but roll me once. Like, the hippo scaling 3-3 three, three in the shop is very nice. It does have an opportunity cost, you know? We, we pay for that 3-3 three, three by keeping a shop unit frozen. And the other thing is we need to, like, you know, not lose a single round before we pop it out. So there's some serious... Tension there. I don't think we're going to be rolling Aardvark long term. It's mostly just along for the dang ride. Um, for now, I'm going to make a wager. My wager is that this hippo should come out immediately. But then keep this one frozen as a just in case. I know it resets us one round, but this was kind of like the interim period. The interim option. This was medium risk tolerance. Oh good, we killed their useless fish. That's exciting. Holy cow, we're still alive. I don't buy it. I don't think we got enough to get us there, but we're, we're starting to weasel our way in. 
You could really use a lemon more than garlic. I, I get I'm being picky here. Okay, you have to. You got to give it a shot. You make the, the friend behind you level three at the start of battle. It's really... I know this will screw up the puppy for one turn. It's really hard to not try this. And I, I'm pessimistic, but hopeful. That's a nasty unit. Holy cow. How dare you? That's a smart... I, I can't even be mad. It's a smartly constructed team, honestly. That getting to three wins hurt me in the soul. But you know what? That just means we got to go puppy and dog. You can't just choose one. I hate this whole shop layout. I, I'm thrilled with the reroll we got. Holy cow. I feel like I could hang my hat on that one. Let me be a friendly phantom. It's got to be lots of friendly phantoms, right? Casper the friendly ghost. I'm, I'm not really familiar on the gradient between ghosts and phantoms. I just assume they kind of... If you're spectral... If you're ephemeral, I feel like it's possible that like a, a ghost is a, a, an, a haunted spirit who's un, uh, they unfulfilled something in their life. They left some business unresolved and as a result uh, have been unable to rest and they're kind of forced into the mortal plane as a result of that. Whereas a phantom is sort of something that you could send. You could be like, hey, send a phantom to the Amityville Mansion or whatever. I, I, ha I have to take it. I mean, like, in the early game, if you get something you can hang your hat on, you gotta take it. Also, we took Puppy last time. We still got our butt kicked, so... <laughs> I, puppy is, uh, is not the be-all, end-all. By the way, we're going to take Puppy this time. We're going to, at least for this round in particular, we're going to get our butt kicked here. I would describe that as a butt kicking. We lost by two units, but I, I do like a lot of what we got going on. I would say this is nice. This is fine. I would. I don't think we need an, a pill bug to level, but we are in danger of just rolling for, for no reason if we don't, I suppose. This is expensive, but I'm, I'm willing to pay the cost. And then steel held it. food of enemy. Let's just give it a try. Why not? Okay, we got a 6-6 six, six puppy. All right. Hey, you know what? It looks like there was no reason to buy the raccoon, but it did one for one. So disregard that. I think, I think we got what we needed out of that. I was hoping to see more swans, though. Okay, this is fine. Roll me. Oh, well, that is an interesting situation. I'll, I'll take it straight to level two. Might be multiple schools of thought on that. And uh, to those multiple schools of thought, I say like Tommy Lee Jones in The, uh, in the Fugitive, I say, I don't care. Now, garlic's great, but a, a turtle would also hit the spot on this squad. A 12-13, man, oh man. Okay, it's an interesting strategy. I've employed it myself. The strategy is called make your hippo worse as a joke. So this puppy's going to the moon. That's very encouraging. Who's going to the moon alongside it? A question for the ages. Right now, let's keep this turtle out here. We're going to sell the raccoon, so don't get too excited. We're going to sell the raccoon is the thing. We're going to... You know what? We're going to sell the raccoon. We're going to put down a second turtle for now. A level two turtle accomplished. What the heck? It never ends, man. I don't believe it. You've stolen my melon armor and made me feel bad about my decision to run the raccoon. How dare you? Okay, we're going to lose this one. I'll be right back. There's a knock on the door. See you in a sec. All right, I'm back. And let's uh, do that hockey. Okay, this run is, is good enough. Copium, I know, but still, look. Strong dog. Do you think? Do you think? We could work a vulture team out here. We got to save a certain amount of gold. Let's get this going then. It's not like the extra turtle is going to help us that much. Vulture is, in theory, getting five triggers. That's 10 damage if it itself doesn't get sniped. 
Can I hit you with the positive? Even if if itself it itself gets sniped, not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a part of our plan yet. And the puppy is. The puppy surely is. You're relevant. We might as well. We we might as well next. Are, are we really gonna? It's tough. It's tough for me to look at this and say, you know, it's time to get an anteater involved. But I guess I, I would sell the duck, and I would pop a quick anteater out here. The order might be a little scuffed, but I also think if if we had to, we could definitely say that our goose has has fulfilled its purpose for us. Stats have been swapped around. I I feel like as it always is the place with the hyena. I feel like I couldn't really care less about the stats being swapped around at all, but maybe I'm missing some grand order strategy that took place as a result of that. Either way, that was, uh, you know, they say soccer is a game where 22 people run around a field for 90 minutes and then the Germans win. That was about 90 minutes of super auto pets shuffling around and then you got beaten by a puppy, as is, is normally the case. Now, lemon's great, don't get me wrong, but... Puppy's very, the, the puppy already has some melon armor, so it's got some good stuff going on. I think it's hard to argue. I think that this would just be better. Again, the order looks bad, but is good, which is a, you know, I, you give a 4-4. Four, four, uh, okay, I'll wait a turn. I thought about not waiting a turn. I think I'll wait a turn. I'll be the first to tell you, by the way, I don't think that our turtle being level 3 is that relevant when you look at who's inheriting most of the melon armors, but... I mean, it's it's nice to have them at the end of the day. I'd, I'd rather have them than not have them, I think. Okay, good stuff. So we got a level 3 puppy. Very good indicator for the future. Why not add... Uh, this, and then you know what? A Spinosaurus kind of goes hard, right? Spinosaurus, whenever a friend faints, give a random friend 3-2. Puppy's not scaling this turn. That's a little silly of me, but it still feels pretty solid. And then we can get a level... We can get level 3 Turtle or level 2 Vulture next turn. I would think that a level 2 Vulture is kind of the way to go. Just to diversify what we got going on. Now, does diversification of strategy matter at this stage of our Super Auto Pets game? I have no idea, but it, it sounds like a plausible explanation for something that could work out, so maybe we should endeavor to try it. There's seven wins. One of the rare times, I don't take a Spinosaurus very often, so this is it's very unusual for me. Okay, freeze it here. Spinosaurus did some great work for us. Puppy is 37, 38. This doesn't seem that bad. I'm alive. How bad could it be if I'm still alive? They do it. They have a shark. Breaking the melon armor on the shark. Uh, thank you so much. You read my mind. Breaking the melon armor on the shark is important. Nothing else matters, I think. I think we got you. Okay. Great stuff. Vulture was getting freaking thick, too. You gotta love that. How about one of these? How about freeze me? Roll me? Roll me? Little popcorn. Never heard... You could throw some popcorn on the turtle, I suppose, is the only unit for whom it really makes a lot of sense right now. My vulture! Am I crazy to think I might be okay here? I just need... Just get the puppy to the front of the line, man. I'm alive. I'm screwed. I'm alive. I'm screwed. <laughs> Okay, strong sniping team, no doubt. Puppy needs to be closer to the front is something we learned there. I think that's very sensible. Maybe we don't need an anteater to pop anymore. Maybe we just need some foods. Puppy's gonna max this turn. Well, honestly, I feel like a, if we live through this turn, it would be nice to have a level 2 Spinosaurus out there. We can beat this team. I know it looks bad, but like this, this team is beatable. Oh, no, it's okay, it's okay. 
That, that lemon almost got them over the hump there. That was scary. That's nine wins. Spinosaurus. Roll me. We don't need to save two gold. You know what? If we don't need to save two gold, I say you just go off, man. And, and I'm going off giving my vulture the most stats possible because I think it stands the most to gain from the Spinosaurus. All right, it's immediately dead. But they spent a lot to kill it. That is worth noting. Real voice reveal, by the way. They spent a lot to kill. We're going to get 10 wins. Look at that. Holy cow. I made it back. I told you we were going to get the dub. We got the dub. How about that? For now, thanks for watching. Feels good, dude. I mean, they, they, we had some canine assistance. Don't get me wrong. But it feels good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!